this is Al Williams of Sunset Hill Solutions. Welcome to the third in a series of videos introducing the functionality of the new information design tool in Business Objects 4. Okay, let's close some of these tabs that we have opened here. Oh, we want to save the changes in the data foundation layer, so we select yes. Okay, so now we have we have our connection, we have our data foundation, and our business layer. At this point we want to publish this business layer, which is actually universe to repository. So when you publish a business layer slash universe to the repository, you have the option to check the integrity of the universe. I'm going to skip that step for now. <coughs> and click on finish. And the universe was published successfully. So now we've created the connection, created the business layer, created the universe, and we've published it to the repository. The next step that we'll do is we'll go into Web Intelligence and create a basic report just to make sure that everything is working okay. All right, so I'm logged into BI Launchpad as the administrator. So I'm going to go ahead and select Applications, Web Intelligence Application. and I want to create a new report. And I want to select a universe. At this point I'm going to be selecting the universe that we just created. And that universe, uh, for the purpose of this demo, I call BL AdventureWorks Demo. I'm going to select that universe. Okay, so now we have the, the query panel opened in Web Intelligence. I'm just going to add some fields here just to see if we're going to get some results. I'll select the English product name and I'll pick a few measures, order quantity and sales amount and I'll run the query. And okay, we've got some results back. Um, I'm just going to make these columns wider. If I double click on the header, it's going to automatically give it the automatic width that you need or the the width that will fit all the, the values in the column. Okay, so I can see all my products, order quantity, sales amount. Let's uh, let's add a date, a couple of date dimensions in here now. Okay, so now that we have the product name and order quantity and sales amount aggregated, let's bring in a date dimension. So in order to bring in new fields to an existing data provider, you have to click on data access and have data providers selected here and click on edit. In this case, we want to have some order date information. Let's bring in the fiscal year and run the query again. Okay, so you can see I have fiscal year showing up in the list of objects on the left-hand side, but it's not in the report yet. So in order to bring that in the report, I have to click and drag it and leave it there. Okay, so now we see we have the sales by English product name and by fiscal year. So thank you for watching. Please come back to the website regularly and check for updates to new videos for Business Objects 4. Thank you.